a few things to stop doing, okay? We talked about this already. I want you to stop just applying for jobs and hoping you get a result. It's probably not gonna happen. It rarely does. Um, and so I way too many people waste way too much of their time staring at job boards, uh, which they could be spending a lot more time connecting with people. Um, I want you to stop just thinking that your resume is the only reason why you're not having any traction. And sometimes people spend hours and hours and hours and weeks and weeks and weeks trying to perfect their resume over and over again, thinking that that's the issue. Um, then the other thing is the first step that people usually take when they're trying to reach out to people, recruiters or hiring managers, they do a message that looks a little bit like this. Hey, I'm interested in this job and would love to be considered, blah, blah, blah. You know, hopefully you can help me out. Um, and from my very informal surveying of, of initial clients that I, do, that I talk to, about 50% of people do this when they're trying to reach out to people. And you know what they always tell me is that recruiters never get back to me. <laughs> they, they tell me that 100% of the time because this is the type of message that they're sending. Um, but this kind of message is not interested in the other person. They're interested in what the other person can do for them and how they can help them. And that's not the kind of messages that we're, that we're trying to send. We're trying to be a lot more interested in other people. So don't do that. Send messages that show how interested you are in them and, and ways that you can um, contribute to that relationship. So here's some things to start doing. Get interested first in not just searching job boards, but focus on companies that you or organizations that you really want to work for and the people that work in those companies now. And LinkedIn's a great place to do this. You can go into a company profile. You can look at the people who are connected with that company. You can even look at their locations. You can look at other things like uh, if they share an alma mater, like university or something like that. Um, there are a lot of cool things that you can do to filter through and find people inside of a company that you would be interested in. Okay, and then you wanna reach out and learn more about them with no pretense of a job that you're interested in. You just wanna be reaching out to learn more about them try, with the goal of trying to get these informational interviews where you can establish a relationship with people and then continue to focus your communication on them, learning about these problems that they have to solve and the opportunities and seeing if there are opportunities for you to fill gaps. That's ways you can help. And, and even think about a recruiter relationship, right? A recruiter's job is to find the right person. If you are the right person, you're helping them solve the problem. But if you're not, then you would be willing to direct them to someone else. Maybe, you know, Matthew would say, you know, maybe I'm not the right person, but John is. Um, and and that, would be, that would be cool. So, you know, you're, you're still trying to solve problems for other people in some way in all of this communication, all right? 